Howdy. Let's go over Azure subscriptions. So Azure subscriptions allow you to group different things together for billing. So you can have a credit card set up for one subscription, a different credit card set up for, for another subscription. Some common use cases for, for different subscriptions are you could have like all your development things in one subscription that gets billed somewhere and then you could have all your production environments in, in another subscription. Uh, you could also have different one department in the in the company on one subscription, and then a different department on, on another subscription. And you're you're able to filter out different resources. You're able to give permissions to different subscriptions, and different things like that. So when you first sign up for your account, I think I think it gives you one default subscription, so you can use that. But let let's go into what subscriptions are. So Get into the Azure portal. So I already have subscriptions here, but you probably don't have that. So there's two ways to find the subscription service. So we can go over here and we can go to all services. And then here we have subscriptions here we can look for and we can even search for it here. So we have it there, but we can also this big search bar here. We can search for any type of service in Azure this way. So let's search for subscriptions. Perfect. So now we have a subscription. And I have a sub couple subscriptions set up already, but let, let's add one. So you might have like some default here. Um, this was the one I think I think I started when I fir first set up. But let, let's add a new one that we're going to be using throughout the throughout this course. So it's very simple. Let's just name it Azure Course. That that'll be a subscription name. And we're going to keep all of this, this the same here. And that, that's all we need to do. And then we can, whenever you actually add resources, and as we go throughout this course, you're going to see whenever we create new things, new resources like a virtual machine or things like that, it's going to ask us what subscription do we want that to go into. So that's, that's what this is for. So let, let's get that, that created. So we're going to create. And then you can see up here, it's working so it's, it doesn't become instant it literally it takes um, you know sometimes it'll take a minute or two for it to create and there we go successfully created subscription so let's refresh and see if it shows up and it does not and that's because so if you look at this top you so you can have things default to different subscriptions and this could be useful when you're working in dev and prod environments. But right now, I have it default to this, this course subscription I have. So let's let's take that off and let's have everything throughout this course just default to Azure course. So now this is only gonna show us anything we've created inside the Azure course by default. And we can change that as we go, which, which, which you'll see. All right, so we've got that changed. Perfect. So now we have Azure course and you can see that we're not seeing any other subscriptions. And that's because we have this here. So if I select all, now I see all my subscriptions. So let's, let's go back to just Azure course. And I'll just show us that. So that, that's the basics of subscriptions. Very simple. Uh, but they come in handy on, on grouping things and, and different billing, billing scenarios.